Hi friends, it's Victor Costa, Peace, Love & Muscles. Hope you're doing well. Um, been doing a lot of projects lately and uh, haven't made a video in quite some time, but I was just inspired to make one. And I wanted to uh, share with you folks uh, comments that I get uh, from people who are at various stages along their fitness and bodybuilding and weight loss journeys. And a lot of times they, when someone comes to me, it's either on the phone or on a Skype or in personal training, they'll say to me something like, how often can I eat junk food? Or how often can I go out and drink? And how often can I do whatever? Uh, so, so, something along those lines. And what's interesting is the orientation, how they're oriented toward their objective. So when they come to me, and when people come to me with that kind of question, it's really hard to answer, but it tells me a lot about where they are in relationship to how quickly this is going to come to them. My wife has said this to me in the past. She's, she was um, interviewing people for a position, and when they would come to her office, the first thing that they would ask is, how much vacation time do I get? Not how, um, tell me a little bit more about the company or I have some questions about advancement. When the question begins with how much vacation time do I get, we can tell how distant the person is from achievement. And so it's not that you can't have junk food, it's not that you can't go out and drink or party or have a good time. It's the way that you're oriented when you ask that question. It's how much can I get away with Really, if we, if we decode that question, how much can I get away with and still get what I want? It's really not a great way to approach a goal um, because it shows the focus of where you are. You're focused on how much I can get away with, not the focus on the goal. See, people who are focused on the goal ask more questions that are goal-oriented, not questions that are failure-oriented. So it isn't that you can't have junk food. It isn't that you can't go out and drink. But people who are focused on the goal don't have that as their immediate question in mind. So you may be asking me, how much can you drink and how much junk food can you have? Look, you can do that stuff and get away with it. Um, but if it's the primary driver of how you're going to get to an objective by how much limitations you put on this particular endeavor, it's going to take a very long time. It may take forever because that's the way your head is sitting. When you focus on the job at hand and not the vacation time, you will get a better result at the job and be able to have a more pleasant vacation. I hope that makes some sense. So I wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscles. It's about setting the right mindset for success. You don't think about a business that you'd like to have and think about how it's going to ultimately fail, right? If you do that, you're creating failure. It's not that you're creating failure with uh, the boogeyman type stuff. You're creating failure because that's the way you're oriented. You're already planning to fail. And that's the same thing with the questions that I get about how much junk food and how much rest and how much all this and that. How about focusing on the goal and then seeing how, how much you can have because you're moving along the trajectory of your goal that you're able to integrate that stuff very naturally in the, in the uh, movement toward the goal.